Hello. Bitte. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we are in... Rwanda. More specifically, Kigali. And you might have been hearing Rwanda pop up quite a lot in the media and on YouTube and everywhere in the past few years. And that is because Rwanda is developing at an insane speed. When a lot of people hear about Rwanda, they might think back to the 1994 genocide, which was, of course, very, very tragic and terrible for the country. But they have come a long, long way since then. So Rwanda is trying to become the Singapore of Africa. And in this video, we're going to show you why Rwanda and more specifically Kigali, because we have a few videos before this showing other things you can do in the rest of the country. We're going to be showing you why Kigali is such an incredible destination to explore even if it's just for two days it's a great place to stop and many people who visit kigali don't really know what to do because there's not a lot of tourism infrastructure most of the things to do are actually outside the city mm -hmm. so we're going to show we had like in total five days or something yeah we had quite a lot a lot more than most people would spend in kigali for yeah sure. so it ended up being like what are we gonna do but we figured out some really awesome things found some really unique activities that we're gonna share with you in this video the number one thing to do in kigali that everyone pretty much does is go to the genocide museum there's not much for us to add about it but all we can say is that it's incredibly well done we broke down in tears a few times in there it's so worth a visit the next thing that some people know about is the blooming art scene in Kigali, and there's so much local art to see. Oscar and I aren't really the biggest art people, but even we really enjoyed going to the local galleries and just walking around those neighborhoods. So one thing we've noticed about Rwanda and Uganda so far is that the temperature has been pretty much perfect the entire time. It's been like 22, 23, 24 degrees Celsius. And it just feels so pleasant all the time. And we're like, maybe this is what humans are supposed to be in, like this kind of climate. Another great thing about Kigali is that it is so safe. So we felt comfortable walking around pretty much anywhere. Of course, you have to make that judgment for yourself. As far as destinations go, Kigali was really quite walkable. And doing so allowed us to explore places we would have never seen otherwise. This was not my idea. Just <laughs> this was my idea to take a shortcut. <laughs> so now we got down to this like super, super local street, um, which I don't, I can't imagine like many other tourists have ever <laughs> walked here. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> the locals were quite surprised. They were like, what are you doing here? <laughs> but they were, but they were so, so nice. Welcoming. Yeah, they yeah. were like, as is where we're from, we say Sweden, oh, Stockholm. Uh, and the kid was so excited. Like it was just cute. Pretty crazy that this is the center of Kigali. Some super modern apartment complexes. And there's more construction going on right down here. One thing we really like doing when we travel is going to local food stores and supermarkets to check out what they look like in different countries because it's always very different depending on where you go. Okay, we got the cereal selection. Not a huge selection and some Pringles. A huge selection of Pringles though. Yeah, a huge um, amount of each of the three different types of cereal. And uh, it's very dark stuff. Which is actually, I don't think it's too expensive. This pasta is quite cheap. That's like 75 cents. But have a look at this. <laughs> yeah, peanut butter for $10. Or uh, this stuff, even this is like five. Also, we found a Heinz look-alike, I think. Wait, that doesn't make sense because this is like twice as expensive as Heinz. Oh my God. If you want to experience a slightly more local place to shop, we recommend going to Kimironko Market. The 
So we're going in here with our guide that we got. So here we have the tailors of the market. I guess they can sew you custom clothes. Here's all the kitchen wares. So we have uh, buckets for water, cleaning vegetables. Hey, we're going all over the market trying to find a soft fabric. Everyone says they have it, but... And everyone's just really pulling really Daniel in all yeah. different directions, but... This is uh, softer, yeah. yes. While we were in the store, we ordered a taxi. So pro tip, if you want to get a metered taxi in Kigali, you need to call 9191 or 1010 and you'll get a taxi with a meter so you don't have to negotiate, won't be scammed. But um, it turns out even these ta official taxis don't know directions sometimes to anywhere. And it seems like the guy that we have as a taxi driver has never used the GPS before ever in his life. So um... yeah, it was so funny because we took it, he has a phone and we took up the GPS on his phone. And he was looking at it so confused, like trying to figure out what to do with it. And we were trying to like explain, like, just drive and it will update, like it will just continue to show you directions and we just, yeah. yeah. So now we're headed to the Nyamirambo Women's Center, which hosts um, like different walking tours around the city and also a cooking class. We're going to the market with our guide, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> So this is just where we're cooking? Yes. yes. Ah. These are plantains, mm -hmm. or green bananas, and these are cassava roots. Right. These are just regular potatoes. Yeah. And these are some green vegetables. Uh, we call them dodo. 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 Yes. These are cabbages and... Uh... Loads of onions. Spending the day with our guide Kevin from the Nyamirambo Women's Center was the best thing we did in Kigali. Not only was the yeah. cooking so much fun, and it was really the best meal we had during our entire time in East Africa. Number three, and she is like on 10. <laughs> <laughs> but we also got a tour of the neighborhood and got to learn how a few different things work in the country. We might have seen some things that we were like, hmm, what is this? And Kevin explained it all. So it was such a cool activity. And not only was it affordable, but the money goes to a great cause. Oh, I got it! Whoa! <laughs> nice. It looks so cool like this. I know, right? Happy mashing! Dodo. Dodo. Yes. It turns into a paste with the salt. Garlic paste. I think we just learned is that um, here there's generally not a, like a name for all the different dishes, but instead you just call it by the main ingredient. So this is called dodo, for example, which is the, uh, the green leaves. Dodo. dodo. Yes. Which is the main ingredient in this one. Yeah. So I guess this would just be called cabbage. Cabbage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time has come to eat. Yeah, we apparently are cooking for 15 other people as well. So I don't know how this meal looks to you, but every time I see it, I crave it so badly. And luckily we got to take home a recipe book. So who knows, maybe when we go back to Sweden, we'll try to replicate this cooking and make a video out of it. Let's see. <laughs> how is it? <laughs> So good. Okay, so we're trying some local banana beer. Akarusho. It's a famous, yeah. So it says sweet banana based alcoholic beverage. Oh, it contains banana juice, sugar, sorghum, and yeast. Would you want to sit outside? Uh, sure, let's do it. <laughs> That's the It's quite good. It tastes very strong. Though. What is the exactly. percentage? 40, 40. Oh, okay, so it is strong. That's what you said. <laughs> so we just learned that the best banana beer is in Paris, which is her neighborhood, <laughs> or um, made by nuns. 
So Kevin was the best guide ever. Thank you so much. If you're here and you have Kevin, you're in luck. So while you may not get a lot of results when you Google uh, things to do in Kigali, there for sure are a lot of off the beaten path things that we really, really enjoy doing. So we hope this video could give you a glimpse into all those things that you could do if you visit the city. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And until we see you all in the next video, don't, don't forget, forget to, to live, live life full time. time. Dodo. Yes.